Paul, welcome. Good to, good to see you. Do you agree Hi. with uh, what the IEA um, administrator said, which is that unless, um, if, basically, if China comes back online in a big way, we got a problem? Well, I think China's going to come back online in a big way because you've got the Party Congress coming up, up in October, and I think they need to show something like the economic growth that they promised for this year, which is 5.5% GDP growth was the target before the whole COVID shutdown drama. On the supply side, I don't know what the IEA is talking about. I mean, if they could list for me five countries that are going to grow more than a million barrels a day of production this year, I'd be very interested to hear which those five countries are because they aren't there. They, so there is no prospect of more, in your view, or very little prospect, I don't want to put words in your mouth, of, of increased supply coming from somewhere in the Middle East, Venezuela, Iran, whatever, uh, to, to help uh, alleviate uh, the price issues. Well, I mean, further to exactly what you're saying, you obviously have a long history of oil because Venezuela obviously used to be a huge producer. Venezuela, no chance. Iran... I have no idea what's going on with the administration's dealings mm. with Iran, but it seems to be going nowhere. Saudi and OPEC in general, of course, remembering that Russia is a member of OPEC Plus, uh, they haven't met their 400,000 barrel a day increase target for several months, and that's the whole group combined. So you're left with the U.S. and Canada. We've canceled the Keystone, and in the U.S., uh, everything we're hearing is that they're maxed out on labor, pipe, uh, any kind of service company is saying to you it's impossible to grow faster than we already are. So I don't know where they think this oil is going to come from. Yeah, okay. interesting point and, and, a, and a troubling one, I guess I would say. West Texas right. Uh, crude right now at about 110, Brent at 113. Where do you think it peaks this summer and, and how soon? Well, seasonally, normally we would say that we peak at Memorial Day because mm -hmm. that's when the refineries would be running maximum. The concern here is that we're short distillate, which would be diesel and jet fuel. Uh, we're very short, and so we haven't been making gasoline. So the normal seasonal trade is off. So I think we keep going higher, uh, unfortunately, through, through summer, unfortunately from a consumer point of view, through summer. And, you know, we'll, we'll then see, because we haven't also fully seen the impact of the Russian outages. So I'm afraid we're in a very concerning tape here for oil. It, it looks like it'll go higher. A couple of months ago, I was saying on your show, I think 110 to 150 is the new range. Obviously, we're at the bottom of that range now. So mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, somewhere in that range over the course of summer. 110 to 150. And as you point out, we're at 110 right, right now. Uh, that means yeah. more pain at the pump for American and global consumers, I guess, particularly at the diesel pump. If you're a trucker or a person who has a diesel automobile, as many as many people do, um, Many or will there be some relief there as, as more focus goes to those distillates that you just mentioned? Well, you know, you're short refining capacity in the U.S., which is a problem. And, you know, maybe the administration will lift the, the stupid ethanol requirement, which doesn't make any sense. We're using 40 percent of our corn to make ethanol. Corn prices are off the hook. Chicken prices are off the hook. You know, I'd like to see some better energy policy for sure, because there are certain ways of alleviating this pressure. One of them is the renewable fuel standard, which really makes no sense. You shouldn't be using corn to make gasoline at this point, which is basically what we're doing. Yeah. So, so, you know, we'll see. There's a number of issues that can be faced, but the reality is the market was already tight before the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Now it's crisis level, and I'm very worried about hurricane season, to be honest with you, in, in terms of if we would lose refining capacity.